Now, Singapore-based bullion retailer Silver Bullion launched the world's first bullion-backed peer-to-peer or P2P loan platform today. P2P lending, which allows investors to lend directly to businesses or individuals, has been catching on in Singapore. Now, some of these platforms say they're finding new ways to increase investor confidence in an unregulated and unsecured lending system. Nicole Tan reports. Each one of these caged racks can hold up to 800 kilograms of silver. And here in the safe house lies about 80 tons of silver and a ton of gold, all in worth some 120 million Sing dollars. Silver Bullion, which operates the vault, says it's launching a peer-to-peer -peer or P2P lending platform that's backed by its bullion. If a borrower holding investment grade gold or silver would like to take a loan of say $1,000, he would have to put up bullion worth twice that amount in collateral, which in this case would be $2,000. If the borrower fails to repay, the bullion will be sold and funds returned to the lender. By requiring 200% collateral, silver bullion says it reduces the risk of credit default, so interest rates are as low as 4.5% per annum. For a P2P system, you will see around 14-15% interest rates. In our case, because it's so safe, you, can, uh, you get a lower return, but you don't have to worry about the chance of default. And by accepting a low interest, that becomes beneficial to the borrower, because it means the borrower can loan at a low interest rate. Overall, peer-to-peer -peer loan platforms have been gaining traction in Singapore. It's been about three months since the funding societies launched its platform targeted at small and medium-sized enterprises. So far, it's helped seven SMEs obtain funding. And by end August, it expects to make more than $1 million worth of loans. It's recently entered a partnership with an MAS-registered international trustee to hold its crowdfunding funds. It says this can help mitigate concerns over mismanagement of funds in the unregulated sector. The trustee agency will be handling the funds based on intended purpose as set out up front um, between the lenders and borrowers. So with that, lenders can be assured that the money is actually going to the borrowers that they intended to to help grow. And similarly for borrowers, that whenever they make monthly repayments, they can be sure that the money actually went back to the lenders and not into to the business platform itself to, to offset certain expenses or to pay off previous investors. These developments come as the Monetary Authority of Singapore has recently established a fintech and innovation group to oversee regulatory policies and development strategies in this sector.